Hello girlies, it's Jone82 and I'm here to do a, some videos for you um, girlies today. I was actually going to start off with a whole video, but I thought it would be better for me to start off with my lips. Okay, this is kind of part two to my first rant that I did, which was um, about Nordstrom's and my whole um, lipstick order that I put in with them. And it's also, it's a part two of a rant with a good ending. Okay, so my last video, I, I don't know where I really left off. But um, I put in the um, order for the real sexy collection. I wanted heroin lipstick. I ordered two of them. It was purple, a matte purple, something I, I do have purples that are similar, but I don't have any matte purple lippies. So I ordered two because I figured if I didn't like it, they have a hassle-free return policy, or I could gift it to someone, eBay, make a little bit of money, you know, just have it back up. Purple is my favorite color, so I didn't mind, you know, having to do the same thing with that. So, um, I know on my rant, I said it was like two weeks or so later, they sent me the box with just the samples in it. Even the invoice didn't even have the lipsticks listed on there. I didn't get a courtesy phone call, courtesy email nothing at all so I called and talked to two people they gave me the run around and I flat out asked them if I'm not going to receive this lipstick please just let me know don't have me thinking that it's coming and then you already know on your side that I'm not even going to receive it there's no chance of me receiving she said oh no um I want to say she said the 23rd or the 24th okay so I let that pass and gave them a couple of more days so on the day I was going to make the call I went to check my email from Nordstrom's. Order has been canceled. Basically, them saying that um, they can't fulfill my order. They're sorry, da da da. And this is after I talked to two people that gave me a specific date, and I even gave them extra time. I think I should have received a personal phone call or something like that. I was so sad because I missed out on an opportunity to get it, get the listing, not just Nordstrom's. They uh, did a second uh, release of it on the Mac website, which I passed by, and it's like I kept checking on that lipstick, and I swear heroin out of the four lipsticks of that collection was the very last one to sell out. And then I even had someone from my makeup group that I met on, on Facebook ask me did I receive it or was I getting it because she um, made some calls and found a store that was getting another shipment, and she was going to grab me one. So I said, no, don't worry about it. You know, I was trying. I was trying not to be greedy. I'm like, okay, let me be patient because every time I jump ahead of myself, I just, you know, just it just it just mess up. So um, I told her, don't worry about. It. I got two coming. Okay, so after I got the email, I was like, oh my god. But then I had this one, <laughs> this one uh lady in the makeup group that kept asking me, you know, what's what's going on, and I was like, okay. I'm not taking it as her being nosy because I know the type of person kind of can pick up on her personality on um, um, Facebook and how she interacts in a group. She's not that type of person like instigates, start little stuff. No, I can say she seems like a genuinely sweet person. I'm like, okay, why does she keep asking me? And in the back of my mind, I was like, okay, is she going to send it to me or she knows somebody who got it? I'm like, nah, let me not get my hopes up. So finally, I told her, I was like, I'm going to call them and then I'm going to let you know. I forgot to um, message her back, and she was like, okay, you know, what did they say? I said, basically, they canceled my order, and I'm very pissed because I ordered not one but two, and now I'm not going to get anything. She was like, okay, I just wanted to know before I sent you the second one that I have. I was like, oh, my God. I'm, I'm like, are you playing or are you serious? She was like, no, I'm serious. I was like, oh, my God, I love you so much. You just don't, don't, don't know how much I appreciate it. I said, anything you need, please let me know, and I will send it to you with no problem, no hesitation. So this is what I have on my lips. The lipstick I ordered from MAC, which is heroin. And it's spelled like that. And it is this beautiful purple. I swear I've been rocking this color every day since I've gotten it in the mail. When I got in the mail, I was doing my little happy dance at the uh, mailbox and people were like, what's wrong with her? But y'all just don't know. And I swear, I'm getting compliments from everyone on this lipstick. But it's a day bright, maybe not an everyday color, but it is for me. So I'm going to do a quick swatch on my hand. I have swatches on my other hand for my next video, so that's why I can't put it on that one. But that's the swatch. 
and it's a matte, basically a matte magenta purple. I do have something in my collection, I believe, that may be similar. Two things. Um, the Kiss New York, they have a magenta. And I think the Cover Girl Embrace, which is right here. Let me grab it. Which is similar, but like I said, both of those are not matte at all. So, this is that one, the Cover Girl. And I'm actually swatch it, but I have see it's not the same. I think the Kiss New York may be closer, but the larger swatch is the Cover Girl. The other one is the Mac, and I love it. The one thing that it does like the Cover Girl um lipstick, it does stain your lips, but I have no problem with that makeup remover or baby oil, whatever, to remove the bed. I've gotten compliments from everybody. I went to the bank. The lady was like, oh, what is that on your lips? That's very pretty. I said, oh, um, no, first she said, that's pretty. I said, oh, she said, oh, can I get that from the drugstore? I was like, uh, no. I was like, this is Mac, and I had to let her know. I said, it's limited edition, so if you try to find it, you probably won't be able to find it. So don't want to get your hopes up, because she was so excited about this color. And then I even had this Caucasian lady walk up to me, and she was like, oh, that's, um, that's a interesting lipstick you have on it looks nice on you i didn't really know how to take it but i said what the hell i like it so that's all that matters so this is my lipstick i'm so happy um so today i went to the cco and um you guys know i have the viva glam nikki and i have the blossom culture and what else do i have now i have this so I decided to um, go to the CCO and see what other lipsticks that are kind of, I guess, discontinued that I probably would like to um, add to my collection. So I picked up Viva Glam Gaga and Viva Glam Gaga 2. And I know you guys have seen these. These are so not new, but I felt like this was something I did want to add to my MAC lipstick collection, which I think I am going to start building up. And I really like this one. This one is the... Leave a Glam Gaga. It's a pretty pink. Right there. And I'm going to do swatches because, like I said, this is nothing new. I just kind of wanted to show you since I'm already showing you um, the MAC lipstick I have on now. And this one is uh, Leave a Glam Gaga 2, which is this new color. I don't know how this is going to work on me. I swatched it on my hand. It's a pretty pale nude color. So I might have to pair this with a lip liner. I'm not sure. But the um, heroin, I don't have a lip liner. It's just what you see is what you get kind of thing going on. But like I said, I've probably been wearing this color probably like probably five days in a row. I keep it in my purse. And I really wish I had have gotten this online. I should have still ordered one. Like I said, I could have always return it to Nordstrom's if I did get that order. But I really wish I had a second one of these. And I believe someone in my makeup group said that you can find it on um, eBay. But they made a comment, something like, uh, yeah, it's, they're selling it for the price of some people's rent. So once they said that, I said, I'm not even going to entertain that thought and go on eBay and look at the ridiculous price. So, yeah. So today, this is what I wore. I just did some wing line. I used my Revlon Color Stay, and then for my cheeks, well, you can't. I don't know if you can show. I had to kind of tone down my blush because I I really overdid it today, but I don't care. I like it. Um, 833E and Mellow Moth, my Wet n Wild blush, it looks like that. So that's all I did today. No foundation, no bronzer, no highlighter. Not even mascara. I just did the eyeliner and blush and my lipstick and went out the door. It was kind of a last minute thing. Didn't want to do anything, but felt like I needed to get out the house. So, this is my rant slash happy ending video. I'm so glad I got this color. And it's just like, now I'm just like trying to savor it because I don't want to use it at all. I hope this is one of the shades. Like, you know, sometimes they um, re-release limited edition um products in a different line. I hope this is one of those things. But I think with the Real Sexy, they did re-release um, one of those colors was in a previous collection that was 
um, came out not too long before the Real Sexy Collection. So hopefully this is popular enough that they will bring it back. And I promise you this, um, next time I will be at the Mac store as soon as they open. And I'm going to grab like three of them because I'm going to hook somebody up. One of my subbies up with that color so they can have that in their life. Because that is definitely something, even if you're not um, a Mac you know, fanatic or like MAC Cosmetics. I don't have anything like that in my collection. You guys know I do haul after haul after haul. I have nothing to compare that to. Like, it's a beautiful purple lipstick. So, if you guys have it or there's a chance that you guys can get it, please get it if you can. You will not regret it. It may be fourteen fifty, but it's worth the fourteen fifty. Oh, and by the way, um, the two other lipsticks that I got from the CCO, I think it was ten fifty or eleven fifty. I know my total was like twenty one, twenty two dollars for both. So I felt like that was a um, a good deal. So let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know if you like this on me. If you don't like it, I mean, if y'all don't like, it, I'm sorry. I'm still going to wear it. I try not to wear it on my tutorials. If <laughs> if you guys don't like it that much on me, but. Stay tuned for my next video. I will be doing a haul. So I'll check you in the next video. Bye, girlies.